Hi guys, and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, here's something. Um, as you know, Divi is just absolutely awesome. It keeps getting better and better and adding more and more features. And if you're uh, building any sort of WordPress site at all, you need to check it out. If you want to take it from a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. But this video today, I've just updated to a new version of Divi and just noticed something that took me several minutes to figure out what was going on. Now, if I look at an older install of Divi that I've got here that, that I haven't updated, let's go and enable the visual builder. And the thing that's missing is the, the full width row button, which I used to use quite often to, to make full width rows with image backgrounds and stuff. So if I add a new section, let's just go down here, hit the little blue bu button, add a regular section, add a row. I'm not going to put a module in it. So I'll just cancel out of that. What I'm going to do is quickly just make an image background for it. So I'm going to hit the little icon cog there and just hit an image. I guess I could have just easily done it a colored background there we go just so you can see what's going on and let's say that I want that row now to be full width what I'd usually do just cancel out of that what I'd usually do is go back into the cog go to the design tab sizing make this row full width just click that little button and there it is. Use custom gutter width, take that down to zero, and it stretches all the way along, which is absolutely fine. And I've been using that for a long time. It's a great feature, especially if you want to just put a little something in there and have something else going on in the background. Since I've updated to the new one, that button is no longer there. If I enable the visual builder on this new one, And when it's loaded, let's do the same thing. We'll add a new section, little blue button, regular section. Put a row in there. Put a background image. I'm not going to insert a module. In fact, I'll just use a color this time. Let's just put a background color in. Black's fine. Okay, so we've got our row there with a the background color. And I just docked my little editor to the sidebar there by pulling it over. Now I want to make this full width like I did with that other one. So let's go to design sizing and there's no full width button. It's gone. And this had me stamped for several minutes until I sort of went to the Elegant Themes site and, and looked for some info about it that some other people have asked questions. And the reason they've done this is because they've added some new features that you can actually just drag uh, elements and, and make them resize them. But to make your section full width now, it's pretty simple. You just go to width, make it 100% make the max width 100% also and there it does it for you it's made it full width just in case you were having a problem like I was finding out what the deal was with that this is it and like I say they've done this for a reason if I just pull that one back Now you can actually grab the side of a module and change the width with your tools here, which is really useful. This is a new update. You can make things bigger and smaller. Actually, that's just changing the padding, but that's pretty cool right there. But like I say, it took me a while to figure out where my full width button had gone. So that is how to do it. If, if you're looking for your full width button and can't find it, it's not there anymore. You can either do it this way or do it like I did in the module there. Go to the design, sizing as usual, no button. Just put your width to 100 
it's already done it because I've done it with the, the drag and max width to 100. And of course, if you've got any gaps at the side, just put your gutter width down to one and there'll be no, no more gaps. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Um, like I say, that did cost me a little bit of time figuring that out. But the reason behind them doing it is 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 great. You know, like I say, this is a good good feature. Being able to drag the size of your your actual modules. So there you have it. That was a short and sh sweet video. I hope that's helped you out. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.